Alright, so this video we're going to look at finding the equation of a parabola. But before we do, let's take a look at the equations. So the equation of a parabola, we have x squared equals 4py. Well, that's, that's a parabola that's going to either open up or down because the x is squared. And, you know, whether it opens up or down, that's going to be based on what value p is. And then we have one that's going to open either left or right. y squared equals 4px. See, the y, well, the y is squared. And whether it opens left or right, that's going to depend on p. Remember, one that opens to the right, p will be positive. One that opens to the left, p will be negative. And same thing up here. If p is positive, it'll open up. If p is negative, it will open down. And then we also have the focus and the directrix. So on one that opens upward, so we have a, let's say we have a parabola here. Okay, this would be your focus. Here's your vertex. So your focus, this distance from here to here is P. That's that distance, P. And then P units down would be your directrix. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. See, once we find P, we can get the coordinates of the uh, focus and we can get the directrix. And then same thing over here, except, you know, it's either going to open right or left. So if we look at this, if the focus is here, of course. This distance to here would be P, and then the, the directrix would be back here, P units, okay? Now, you know, don't, don't try to memorize, okay, well, I got to add P to this to get the directrix, or got to add P to this, or subtract P to get the focus. The best thing to do is you're going to, you're going to, just sketch out the information you're given and then and it makes it a lot easier to work and plus you know not all the parabolas are going to be at the the vertex is going to be at zero zero sometimes it may not and so another way to write these when they're see here the vertex is at zero zero but if we look at it x minus h squared equals four P times Y minus K and then here we would have uh, Y minus K squared equals 4 P times X minus H and the vertex would be H K alright so let's go ahead and take a look at an example alright so let's look at this example it says find an equation for the parabola that has vertex 2, 3, has a vertical axis, and it passes through the point 1, 5. All right. All right, so let's see what we've got. Let's make a sketch. Because we don't really know which way it opens, if it opens up or down. I mean, you can probably figure it out, but we'll draw it and... That'll make it easier. All right, so we've got the point two, three. That's the vertex. And then we've got the point one, five. That's a point on the parabola. So if this is the vertex, the only way we're getting here is if this thing opens up. So we know it opens up and it tells us we have a vertical axis, okay? All right, so, well, write your write down the the form of the equation. So we know we've got x minus h squared equals four p times y minus k. All right, all right. So, well, we just need what h, k, and p. So we got to figure out what p is. Because we know H and K, that's our vertex, that's HK. 
All right. So let's go ahead and write this x minus 2 squared equals 4p times y minus 3. All right. So somehow I've got to solve for p. I've got to figure out what p is. Well, look at this. It tells me that it passes through this point. So I know that this xy, I need to be able to plug that in and that would equal each other. Okay. Well, what does p have to be in order for that to happen? Well, that's what we're going to find out. So let's plug the 1 and the 5 in. So we'll plug 1 in for x and 5 in for y. So that's going to give me 1 minus 2 squared equals 4p times, uh, let's see, 5 minus 3. So that's negative 1 squared is 1 equals 4p times 2. And so I get 8p equals 1. So p is equal to 1 8. And so now I have my equation. See, I've already got the h and k plugged into here. So now I'll plug the 1 8 in for p. And so I'm going to get x minus 2 squared equals 4 times 1 8 times y minus 3. And so x minus 2 squared is equal to 1 half times y minus 3. And there's your answer. Okay. Now, I mean, there's different ways you can write. You can multiply this all out and solve for y if you want to. But, you know, I'm just going to leave it like this. Hope this helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.